they go. Hello, welcome to the show. Um, nice show this week. I know we're sort of a bit squiff because there was that delay, and then we're going to be a little bit behind the stories. So what, I'll, so what I'll do is I'll put two up in a week. Okay, cool. And then we'll be well ahead of the curve again, and people will be excited to see us twice in a week, you know? But it's important we put this one up this week because, one, we've got a new record I've been waiting for, and it's coming it's for this show. Yeah, from Format. And two, we've got a tone that mentions Chris. We do. We really, really do. Because oh. I've just come from a book launch and uh, and I'm in the book, which is kind of cool. So Naked. Naked in the book, yeah. <laughs> Playing with a belly button, all of that sort of stuff. So it was, it was really nice. But yeah, anyway, said book is this, The Vinyl Countdown. I think Graham what Sharp. we should do is I should read a little bit from it later. <laughs> no, you know, but, when we've got a slower record, I'll read, you know, we'll read a little sure, bit of an yeah, extract. Maybe, maybe. I'll yeah. interview you like I'm Graham Norton. But, but, but what I will say is this, an old school record collector discusses matters 33 and 45 RPM visiting hundreds of record shops from old England to New Zealand, gathering 303,259 albums, 647 singles, 2,386 CDs en route. And obviously, he came into the shop when I still had the shop. Mentions it. Yeah. So Quite a bit. He's been in contact with me a little bit. And uh, so I said that I was going to be in the sort of like book, and I didn't know how big the book was going to be or how it's good big. or anything like that. It's pretty big. Uh, anyway, so he said, uh, come on to the book launch, which I've just been to, and bring a few records to play, which these are. What's this? This is the River People Octopus, I want to say. Thief by Octopus, Thief by Octopus on Penny Farthing. So we've got a bit of a psyche heavy sort of like show this week, including Mr. Format's uh, wonderful single as well. So there you go. Yeah, but I like this tune, wicked. Uh, next up, we may have already played half of these, but next up we've got Funky Bayswater by the Squires. Well, there we go, so on MCA Records. Yeah, I've got this. Good tune. Yeah. Funky Bayswater. Yeah, it's because, because of the chopping and changing of dates. I'm not sure where we are and what's going on. But I do know, actually, because we are now going to be out this week, Saturday, format is playing at Jazzology. He is. Damn well he is. Damn well he is. He is. Yeah. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I can't go. Oh, really? Yeah, I was really looking forward to it. And then I realised that's when my family, my wife being American, are celebrating Thanksgiving. Of course. And I will say this, and I'm really sorry to Leon from Jazzology, who actually sent us a really lovely uh, email. Did he? That I haven't actually replied to yet. And I'm really, really email? sorry. Maybe it was just to me, Brad. No, he but, got an um, email address as well. Oh, uh, yeah, well, either way, yeah, I got it. Was it and, recently? Yeah, and it's, oh. and it's asking us basically to take over Jazzology because yes. uh, he doesn't want to do it anymore. What? No, no, he does, he does, I was joking. Uh. No, 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 just to sort of like uh, to pick some times next year yes, for us to sort of go okay, down and, uh, to him straight off and, and, you know, more than twice even. Do you know what I mean? But so you know we what? I may to well to be going down there more than because twice. Because we've done it twice this year, mm. but I want to talk to him because what I was thinking about is, is maybe, just maybe, not as a regular thing, we should do a London Jazzology. You mean Happy bring Christmas. him up here? Yeah. It's not a bad idea, but there's nowhere quite as cold as a black zone. No, 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 we don't have to what? do it. In spite, instead of, we mm. do it as an addition. Oh, I see. yeah, 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 okay, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, what, you mean make it bigger? Well, yeah. I hope not like making it bigger. No. Anyway. <laughs> um, it just fluffs it a little bit. It? <laughs> anyway, let's move on quick. Yes. Swiftly. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely a theme to this week's show. It is, because obviously the guy who wrote the book is a bit of a psych head, so I sort of like took this more, more of this sort of stuff. And this is uh, by The Ghost on Gemini Records. Um, I've got to get to know you. We may have played it before, I have no idea, but there you go. Cool tune though. Do you know, well, there was a thing on Friday night, and on yesterday the guy came up to me dance like you're like an 80s hip hop dancer. <laughs> I was laughing when I said I'm so what? He's, he's like from uh, Peru or something like that and I was like yeah that's how he described me and I was like but you know so right, next time is. there's um, you know any sort of event on that requires a breaker. There you go. <laughs> if you, if you, yeah, if you ever see the Chris. extended version of House Party with Kid and Play in it, Brad's actually in it teaching them how to dance. This is true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like, nice. yeah, it's a wicked song. Sorry, I just thought that because I was just dancing away there. 
Really you are. can't see my legs. <laughs> yeah, cool. Nice yeah. tune. Next one. Next tune. Uh, next tune is an acetate by Cliff Bennett uh, and the Rebel Rousers. Cliff uh, Bennett used to go down the snooker. Yeah. Cliff Bennett and about what was that big song that he did? I can't even remember. But um, anyway, but this is an acetate uh, called "Blame Yourself, Baby," which is really cool. And a few years ago, I remember playing it at the uh, Diggers Dozen down in Shoreditch with our, our main man Maxwell. And this is cool. Was that not last Christmas? I gave you my heart. I don't know. I, no, no, it's probably a couple of years ago now. But either way, this is really cool. What's it called again? Uh, blame Yourself Baby or something. It's such a 70s line, you know. 60s? 60s, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You blame yourself for that, baby. <laughs> yeah. Fart that on yourself. Northern, Northern Comet coming out yeah. of the I really like this shit. It's a shame that it was never ever released. Maybe we cool. should. There you go. What's the name of the um, place that's opening in South East London? Oh, it's bugger. Uh, uh, the press in place. Oh, I can't remember these things, Brad. I've had yeah, three glasses this. of red wine already. I just have to whack it together. Yeah. It's a 45. It's cool 45, man. Yeah, yeah. Really good. But, yeah, I think it would sell. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, I like it too. Cool. Very mod, I like it. And staying with that mod sort of theme. Uh, we got this is another cool little uh, demo 45 by Mark London on Thai Records called Moaning. And again, it stays with the theme, but I really kind of like this as well. Do I like it better than this? I don't know. But anyway, check this out. That's what I do every night. <laughs> Wailing out the window. How does it come to this? Yeah. This is cool, I know. I really like this shoe. I like it too. It's cool. No idea who That's the hell I'm Mark London is, but there you go. Like it lot. What are we doing next? Well, we have got Mr. Format next down the sound side, guys. No, Simon Sound. Simon Sound, sorry. It's all right, I'll edit that out. Yeah, thanks. Right, so are we going to go with Holy Thursday or the Peruvian? Holy Thursday. Holy Thursday, is it a version? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah it's a version. So the version of David Axelrod's Holy Thursday. So there we go. Still keeping in the psych vein then, really. Yep. It's a wonder. Yeah, it's cool. Right, so here we go with uh, Sound Side and no. Simon Sound. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> DJ Format. Nice. That is really good. Simon Sounds. DJ, DJ Format and Simon Sound. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, like, DJ Format on Tomorrow's World with Simon Sounds. Yeah. Playing the latest in technology. The, um... Yeah, my pal was over on Saturday and he was like, I played this. Like, What's that? He said, It's future music. Future yeah, music yeah. from. Imagine the future of 1972. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you can think of what the future was going to be like if we do this music. It's cool, man. It is yeah, cool. I think there's still a few available. I don't think there's many, but yeah. Uh, I think you'd uh, want to snap this bad boy up. Yeah, it's go. well done, isn't it? I have to say, it is well done. I really like it. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. I got the Sun Sound albums and that and stuff. I really, you know, it's a good stuff. Yeah. Well, we've only got eight uh, tracks today. I bring that back on actually because we played that like like the first ten shows. Yeah, totally. I bring it on. I bring it back on. It's worth a revisit album. Yeah, I like this. It's really really cool. Anyway, our break of the week is uh, again we probably played it and either way uh, but yeah it's ricochet by jonesy and i got this off the format weirdly so there you go so a nice little segue into uh, something like this well it's like I like it. it really is yeah uh, but yeah this is a wicked tune uh, and the first time i heard this was actually rob life cutting up two copies of this and it is a killer tune so we'll play a bit of the tune and then play the break <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I love this tune. Funky rock, b-boy breaks, all of that sort of stuff. And a nice demo copy as well on Dawn, so. And it is a legitimately a wicked song as well, so. Wicked played a nice little set of that book long set. Yeah, totally. It was full of old people. Where's the book, Mum? Oh, the book is right behind. Let's bug the book a bit, Mum. So this is final countdown. Fi final <laughs> countdown by Graham. Sharp, sharp. There you go. Yeah. I'm sure, he's a footballer. And uh, Chris is in it somewhere. I am. I am. Um, do you mean finally? It's quite near the. I only read like two lines. Yeah, I, there's one bit that I think is really nice. The rest of just slags Chris off. Yeah, it's just, it was a cunt, he overcharged me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the hay records, never clean. Yeah, them. bastard. Cockroaches in them. Pictures of cocks in them. It is wicked, we've definitely played this before. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's long gone, mate. Bear with me. At least you get to listen to the record. You do. Man. Yeah, I suppose you could like, put the page, flip the page over. I've just got it, I've just come from the book launch. I read it earlier. Chris is near the back. I'm near the back, I'm near the back. Well yeah, because he, he's, he's, he's an older chap. Time. And so he started collecting in the in the 60s, so yeah, I'm gonna be. Here we go. Here we go. There to there. This is lovely. So you got like... Um, and during Mr. the Brown, course of Mr. Brown would have met him as well. Oh, he's not here though, is he? No. Sorry, Mr. Brown. But during the course of my research, I've become particularly partial to taking the local H12 bus over to South Arrow, the original home of second-hand royalty in the shape of Celebi. Shop. Best record shop. Yeah. When Celebi closed down, I was convinced there would be never be another shop in that part of the borough in which I'd lived virtually all of my life. But a Break. couple of years ago. Um, but a couple of years ago, in an almost the identical location in which spawned Selenby South Arrow Market, directly under the local tube line, so close that you could feel the place rattle as the train, train shoved into and out of the station. A young, <laughs> part-time DJ, father, and knowledgeable music fanatic and final freak named Chris took on a unit and set up his second-hand record shop, the nicely named Music Archaeology. And it goes on a little bit about... Our right. relationship become awkward after one drunk night. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, right, right, a beautiful yeah. romantic novel. <laughs> Check it out. I don't know where you can buy it, Chris. If you didn't find it, uh, you, you can. Well, Probably you, Amazon. You can buy it on Amazon, yeah. And it's on uh, Old Castle Books, so you can get it in most bookshops actually. Yeah. And uh, Vinyl Countdown. Vinyl Countdown. Countdown. Exactly. Yeah. And he was on Radio Two. Uh, really? So yeah, the other day. So. That's yeah. cool. We should get him on the show, please. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. We so should, we should show. get him on the show. I think we should. Talking about the book and playing some records. Let's do that, let's do that. We will. Cool. Anyway, next Not up is uh, our theme of the week, and it's from Dudley Moore. Ooh. And uh, it's one of these, but it's from the film Inadmissible Evidence. There we go. It's, yeah, it's wicked, it's like a... Yeah, I love Dudley Moore, mate. It's kind of a Dudley Moore trio. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen the film. Yeah, it's an amazing song though. Every, every few years we play a Dudley Moore track and I talk about the time I met Dudley yeah. Moore. I'm not going to talk about it today, I'm just going to say he did acknowledge that I was the coolest guy in the room. He did. That's all it was, it was a long time ago. Tips his glass, you did, he did. He was still alive, obviously, and I still had hair. And uh, it was a lovely evening, a lovely evening. Yeah, so, anyway, yeah. rest in peace, Dud. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's wicked. Yeah, yeah, really cool. So, don't forget, lots to remember. DJ Format will be at Jazzology this Saturday night he in will. the Black Glove in Brighton, where there'll probably be Leon, as usual, and Tipster, and hopefully he'll be playing his new 45, Holy Thursday, with DJ Format and the. Uh, Dudley Moore? Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, and also, yeah. Get yourself a book. Nice Final book. Final Yeah, there you go. Beautiful story. In all good bookshops. Yeah. And uh, there's probably other stuff I can't remember. We will catch you next week. Indeed. Bye-bye.